Hey you! Me? Yes you. Are you a weeb? Yes! Is quarantine giving you a depression? Yes! And do you just want to watch anime all day long and just cry every night at 3am? Well don't you worry because today I'm going to show you guys the best anime apps for you to watch anime for free in 2020. Hey everyone, my name is Dragon Rock, you guys can call me the end, and welcome to my channel. So how is your quarantine, you know, we're still in quarantine, so so how you guys been, you know, how is your families, are you doing okay? If you guys doing okay, just please tell me in the comment section below, and if you guys not okay, then just please also tell me in the comment section below, I will truly, I will quickly reply to all of your comments, hopefully. Well, how about me, well, um, I look like a freaking maniac with this long hair and just watch anime all day long and just cry at 3am, yes, I have a problem. <laughs> well anyway, if you're an anime lover just like me and you guys just want to watch some animes but you guys don't know where to watch it for free and just admit it, you know, we can't afford to use our money to buy this and to buy these TV shows and or maybe you just don't want to waste your money on some animes. And yes, I understand that, okay, I understand because I'm also doing really want to waste my money just like that so if you guys are trying to find some place for you to watch animes for free like so if you go to any websites out there to watch anime for free but the thing is about this website is that they just got a lot of ads pop out ads and it's just very annoying and then you try to find some apps for you to watch animes for free but a lot of them is just so slow and not really like a user friendly and maybe it keeps loading so slow and it's just not perfect yeah it can be a pretty frustrating and just annoying well don't you worry because today i found a some new apps that you guys can watch animes for free in 2020 in quarantine oh before we're gonna start the video i, I just want to say that it's not like a ranking or anything all of them is great and you guys should check out all of them so anyway let's start the video shall we so the first one is actually called case enemy but the problem is this actually this is actually not the other case enemy because i know that there's a lot of case enemy apps out there that a lot of them didn't work but this one is actually a new one called case enemy created by case promo now first of all, I don't know Kiss Promo is actually like the original creator of Kiss Anime or something, I don't know. But you guys can actually download this app inside Play Store. So to download it, just go to your Play Store and go search for Kiss Anime. And here at the first one, is called Kiss Anime created by Kiss Promotion. So just download it and yeah. So then after you're done downloading, unfortunately, I can't seem to record the app like you can see if i open the app you guys can only see like a black screen for some reason so that's pretty annoying and even if i try to take a screenshot let me try to take a screenshot you can see it will say unable to capture screenshots i don't know why it's bullshit i know but again this app works perf perf perfectly fine um so but the thing is you can't really create an account for the app and yeah so you can't really save your favorites so if you delete the app and download it again your favorites will gone your history will gone and also it won't mark the episode that you have watched so you need to remember what episode you've watched if you don't remember then that's gonna be bad so yeah so anime kiss anime it needs a lot of updates but still again this app is still new, it got released like this year in April or something so it's still new so you guys can go make a review out of it and just contact the developer and tell them to update that and this and yeah hopefully this app is gonna be gonna be a great anime app for you to watch animes but yeah again I'm kinda weird why I can't seem to record it it's I, I don't know it's just it's weird but yeah that's the first one called Kiss Anime so the second one is Anime Bay. So actually a lot of these apps is available in Play Store, so that's very good. <laughs> so the second one is Anime Bay. Again, you guys can actually download this in the Play Store. Let me show you guys how to do it. Just search Anime Bay. Right there. 
and you can see the first one tap on it and yeah here it is so very good so it's easy for us so we don't really actually need to go to the to some website and download the APK so you just can go to the Play Store and download it so yeah very good um, so let me open this up anime bay and again this app is also you can't really create an account so you can't really save your favorites and history and all of that stuff and okay so let me search for the app uh, for the for, let me search an anime Kimetsu no Yaiba yes Demon Slayer very good anime if you guys haven't watched it you guys should because a very good anime so this one I actually like because as you can see I already test the app and as you can see episode 1 it, at the right side of the episode 1 you have like this marker saying it means that I already watched the episode because just now I did watch it to test the app if it's were or not and yeah as you can see it have that mark tick so yeah, very good um, so let's test no, let's again watch episode 1 and um, yeah you need to choose the streaming server you can choose any server that you want I'm gonna choose Aurora because I like that name <laughs> and yeah you can also choose the quality the video quality and go I'm gonna go with 720p and AB player is actually the default player so if you don't want to use your own player then you can choose AB player but you can also use MX player, so I'm going to the default player, AB player, and as you can see, it works just fine. The default player is also pretty good. I really like it. It's very simple. And as you can see, it loads so quick. There's no loading problem or anything. It's very quick. I really like it. So yeah. As you can see it works perfectly fine and yeah but yeah there's some ads that's kind of annoying but you don't need to wait it you can just quickly close it and yeah that's pretty good the thing that i don't really like about this is that you can't really create an account so you can't really save your favorites so if you accidentally delete this app and if you download it back all your history will gone so that's pretty annoying but but overall, a good app, you guys should really go check it out. It's only in Play Store, so very easy to find. So yeah, very good. Oh, so it's actually kind of raining, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear the rain. I'll try my best to remove it, but I'm sorry if you guys can still hear it. But anyway, <laughs> coming up in, in number 3, it's called Anime Glare. But unfortunately, Anime Glare, it doesn't available in Play Store, so you guys need to download it in a website so let me show you guys how to download it first of course the link always going to be on the description below so make sure you guys tap on it so but if you guys don't want to click on the link for some reason then just go and search at google type in anime glare and just open up their website right here https download just open their website right here download.animeglare.xyz tap on it and now as you can see if you're using an android then you need to tap on the play store if you're using an ios and yeah it's actually available for ios that's pretty good then tap on the app store if you're using an ios but i'm using an android right now so tap on play store even though it won't really send you to play store it will just give you the apk because i guess it already been removed at play store i guess play store removed this app i don't know but after that, it will, it will actually ask you do you want to download this app or maybe it will ask you this APK is untrusted or something but just tap on download or OK then I guess there we go, that's how you download it so very simple again the link is going to be on the description below so make sure you guys just tap on that so now let's go back and let's open it up shall we let's see how it looks like let's tap on it now as you can see I already test the app and you can actually log in with an account you can actually create an account right here let's go to settings so there's a lot of things that you can actually change in settings a lot of features it's really great and you can actually change the theme of the app so yeah very good pretty nice um, 
So right here at the login, you can see you can login with SIMKL or just login with MAL, will debrid, premium, premiumize. MAL is actually my anime list and a lot of people use that website. And yeah, so pretty good. I really like it that you can actually save your progress just by you know creating an account. So very good, very good app. But now let's actually go and watch some animes, shall we? I will go to my favorite at the top right, right here. And this is my favorite, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Um, so now it looks kind of weird, like where do you need to watch it? So to actually put edit to the, your favorite is actually at the top right, right there. As you can see there's like your heart logo. That's where, that's how you edit to your favorites. But to watch the episode is actually at the bottom right, right there. You would say episodes, so just tap on that. So you can see it will also mark the episode that I have watched as well, so that's pretty good, I really like that. So now let's test and watch the episode 1. Just tap on watch now, and you can see it will load all the links. You can see a lot of links it will show, and I'm actually gonna watch the English subtitle, I'm gonna choose this one, 220p sub, and you can also play Oh, I got a message and we will also support a MX player but if you guys don't have MX player and you guys want to use the default player then you guys can just tap on play and here we are so again the player is very simple as you can see it works just fine it loads very quick and there's no buffering at all okay there we go and again the thing that I like is because you can actually save your favorites your history so if you accidentally deleted this app you can just download it back and log in with your account and all your favorites will be safe and it will also mark the episode that you have watched so you don't need to remember what episode you have watched and which one you haven't watched so very good app anime glare guys Again, the link going to be in the description below, so make sure you guys go download it. So now at number four, we got Anime Ultima. So this app is um, before it's actually available in Play Store, but unfortunately it got removed. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to download it. Just tap on the link on the description below. Um, we gonna go and search for Anime Ultima. And just swipe down until you find the website malavida.com right there just open it up and right here anime ultima android so just tap on download and tap on download again and you can see right there just make sure you tap on download or ok or something and yeah, there we go. It's very really easy. Again, the link will be in the description below. So after you install it, oh, let's open it up. And this app, you can actually create an account as well. So it will save your favorites. So very good. So just go ahead here and as you can see, I already signed in. Um, you guys can actually sign out when you open it for the first time. So now, um, let's go to my list. Right here, I am watching Kimetsu no Yaiba. Um, so the problem is, to me, the problem is the episodes won't load. To actually fix this, if you guys have the same problem as well, if the episode won't load, just tap on at the at the right side of the episodes right here, and just tap start ascending or start descending. Which which one do you guys want to choose? That's up to you. Just tap on one of them. And there we go, it will load the episode. For some reason, that's just my problem. I don't know if you guys have the problem. If you guys have the problem as well, then just do what I did just now. So, now as you can see, this also, like, if you've watched the episode, it will automatically mark it down. So, very good. So, let's test. Let's watch the episode 1. And there's also comments. Um, It won't. It won't actually load the comments because as you can see it say comments are hidden by default because it might contain spoilers so that's very neat a very good cool idea so let's just load the comments and as you can see there's a lot of comments right there 
so there's like a little community for you so very good app and as you can see the player loads so quickly and you can actually change the video quality at the top right right there the settings icon so yeah you can choose 720p and or 180p yeah a very good app you can create an account and it's just very good you guys really go shoot you guys really should go check it out again the link is going to be in the description below so yeah so let's actually check out the app setting right there and you can actually change the preferred source um, there's there's only two AU engine and fast stream but the default one is fast, fast stream and preferred type if you like a dub anime then you guys can choose this one but I prefer sub so you can also enable show next episode and you can also enable auto watch and auto watch treasel and also the episode set sort of order and go with ascending and yeah there we go a very good app you guys really should check it out so there's actually two anime apps left but this this apps actually doesn't work for me um before it works perfectly fine but for some reason now it doesn't work it just keeps loading and it just have a lot of problem and hopefully the developer will fix this and the first one is actually anime stack 2020 so this app before is actually called anime tube but then they change it to anime stacks and you guys can actually download this in the play store as well let me show you guys how to download it first um anime stack here we go and as you can see just tap on download but the problem is when i tried to open it before i already tested it and it was perfectly fine and a lot of people like it anime tube is is actually a very famous app but now they changed it to anime stack 2020 as you can see it's just I, i'm stuck right here literally like last month i tried it out and it works perfectly fine but then now it doesn't work for some reason and hopefully the developer will fix this because if it if it's still just stuck at here then i guess it's going to be another dead app and hopefully it will not be and yeah so that's pretty sad um so yeah anime stack 2020 you guys still can go and check it out if just to see if it works for you guys but to me it just doesn't work it just stuck at the loading screen so the last one is called goat anime pro this one is also have a problem let me show it to you guys so first when you open it up um this app is actually created by a de the developer called the anime world he actually have his own youtube channel and he actually created anime omiru goat anime goat anime pro i don't know why is it called goat anime pro um it looks like a freaking cult summoning a demon baby <laughs> but yeah i tried anime omiru this app and his other app a lot of them didn't work for some reason before this i always use it and it works perfectly fine but just this one day like yesterday like two days ago suddenly it just doesn't work let me show it to you guys uh, let me sign in first and yeah you guys can actually create an account with this app to save your favorites but yeah in, in, and as you can see it won't load the enemy before this it loaded perfectly fine very quick but now it won't load even though at my favorites it load the enemy but when i try to tap on it to open it up it just stuck at this loading screen and yeah it just won't load I waited like five minutes and nothing happened so yeah it's it's very it's very sad because I really like this app and the developer um, at their page they actually say they working on it but I've waited like two days and it's still like this and hopefully the developer will fix this quickly and the link actually going to be in the description um, this app doesn't available in it's not available in, it's not available in play store so um, you, you actually need to download it at the website um, the website link will be on the description below of course again uh, right now I'm actually using anime glare um, because it's actually a very good app but you guys can try the other apps right here kiss anime anime bay anime glare anime ultima 
enemy stack and good enemy again these two apps right here enemy stack and good enemy hopefully the developers will fix their apps quickly if it's not then it's gonna be those other apps that died really quick hopefully not i really love these apps but yeah anyway that is all for this video um Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully these apps help you guys from this quarantine, especially to you anime lovers out there, you know. So again, how you guys been? Yeah, the quarantine is kind of suck, but to me, to gamers like me, to I'm an anime lovers, I'm a gamer, I, I, I don't really have any problem. But some people have some problem while in this quarantine and I hope they all doing okay and i hope you guys my viewers my subscribers are doing okay as well if you're doing okay then just please tell me in the comment section below if you're not doing fine then tell me in the comment section below as well i will try my best to help you to comfort you but anyway just hopefully you guys all doing well your family is doing well please if you're having a depression or anything just don't always look at your social media social media will fuck you up seriously I really use a lot of social media, I only watch Instagram and I don't like, I only open it like a minute and I just, and I exit it and I just play some league, that's all I do, I play league and just watch some anime. If you're not doing okay, if you're feeling sad, then I guess just go have some rest and just hang out with your families or if it's your family's problem then uh, I guess um, just watch some animes. <laughs> I'm a very bad therapist. <laughs> anyway, again, hopefully you all doing fine and yeah. That is all for this video. I hope you guys like it. If this video helped you guys, then please click that like button. And you guys can also share this video to all your friends that love animes as well. And so please click that subscribe button if you guys want more videos by my channel. I would truly appreciate it if you guys click that subscribe button. So I guess, I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.